Miracles and Wonders. Absolute Grace. Complete Freedom. A place of no condemnation. Zone Ministries. Where we dare to believe. That's enough said for now for, for, for tithing and stuff. Can I, uh, what we're going to do this morning, I'm already preaching a lot already. Is that okay? Forgive me. <laughs> give me. Give me half a time chance. I will pre- preach to a tree. This looks like it's living and speaking. I like tuning in straight to Jesus. But this morning, the Lord spoke to me yesterday when I was praying. He says, we're going to do praise and worship today. Is that okay? We're going to worship God. Okay? There's many new songs that I've got up here. Nice, frisky with it, worship and praise songs, new ones, okay? Um, and I maybe put an oldie one in between as well a little bit. So we're going to praise and worship this morning. Because um, the Lord said to me, you know, we, sometimes we preach and sometimes we, we just praise and worship. But I want us to worship this morning. And I want to read a passage here quickly. Because people has this misconception that, you know, um, especially that... Um, no, this is the best place to worship. That's the best place to worship. Now, in your car is the best place to worship. On the toilet is the best place to worship. In the shower is the best place to worship. I might be a bit false sometimes in the shower, but it's okay. Okay, that's why there's a shower. A lot of noise, you know. And you sound so good in the shower when you praise the Lord, <laughs> or in the bath. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay. But yes, this is the woman by the wall. Jesus spoke to her and stuff. First of all, you cannot speak to women alone. But Jesus did it. And it's a Samaritan woman. And Samaritan and Jews didn't get along very well. Okay? And this woman had so many husbands. People said, Psh, you know? And he says, but yeah, you're right. And the, you have five husbands. And the one you have now, you're staying with. And Jesus didn't say, you're a bad person. He didn't say it's okay. But he didn't go and tune sins, you know what I'm saying? He didn't. But he says here, from verse 9, So the woman said to him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worship and, uh, on this mountain, and your, you Jews say that in Jerusalem is the place where one ought to worship. And still today, Jerusalem is the blessed place to worship. And then let's go to Jerusalem and just do it to Jerusalem, and let's get to Jerusalem. But Jesus says it very clear. Jesus said to him, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain or in Jerusalem worship the Father. He says, you will not go to this mountain or even go to Jerusalem to worship God. You see, so people have a false conception that the Jews is the better one, whatever. Don't get me wrong. If you are a Jew, we love you. If you are, if you are a South African, we love you. If you are some Baba, we love you. If you are an American, we love you. Do you understand? There's no distinction between Greeks and Jews and Gentiles, all one in Christ. There's no specific place on this planet that's more anointed than in the other place. Okay? Do you hear? And he says, verse 22, You worship what you do not know. We know what we worship. For salvation is of the Jews. And he was not saying it's of the Jews. It means I come through the Jews. Okay? He didn't say that they are. No. It comes of. In other words, I'm coming through the Jews. Okay? Because God put the law and stuff to point to Jesus. Then he says here, verse 20, but the hour is coming and now is. So it's, it's coming, but it's already here. When the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship Him. God is spirit. And those who worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. In other words, you are a spiritual being. You're not natural anymore. When you are reborn, something happened in you. You know, I try to explain to people... It's not a mental extension, Jesus, or but something happened here. There's a rebirth within you. You know, when I was in the world and I was full of drugs and joining and whatever, and, and I had an encounter with God, I got saved and I stopped doing those things that I used to do. That's an happening encounter with God. I'm talking about that. I still, when I was not saved or whatever, I still prayed, I still read my Bible, I didn't deny Jesus, but I never had an encounter with God. Okay? I never denied God, but I never had an encounter with God. 
how many people do you know of that? Many. Many people sitting in church, they're not denying God, but never had an encounter with God. Now, what God is saying, your spirit must, you are reborn. This, your spirit is now new. Now you're worshiping in spirit and in truth. Okay, this morning we're going to do, we worship Him with our reborn spirit, our spirit of man. We, we worship Him. We, we honor Him. We glorify Him this morning. Not just what we're going to sing up here, but when we go out in our cars, okay, with our children, in our marriages, you know, in, in our jobs and whatever, you know. The Bible says, do everything that we do, we do unto the Lord, you know. So w- worship is working awesomely. You know, speaking well, um, your conduct must be good. Worship is in everything. But especially this morning, we're going to praise Him with our lips. We're going to praise Him with our hands. We're going to praise Him with our feet. We're going to praise Him with our bodies. God has given you a body to praise Him with, okay. Why do you think that people like to dance? I still got it, hey? <laughs> no, stop, Pastor. <laughs> Please remove this man from the building. <laughs> you know? So we use our bodies. Do you love dancing? I just love dancing. Why? Your, your body is made to worship. Now we worship the things in the world. Now let's worship God, okay? In the world, in this world, okay? Which is Jesus the Christ. Not the God. You know, not the devil, not the world system, not the worldly music, but godly music, enjoying God's stuff. You know, we have the best music, man. Not this religious stuff, oral music and whatever. We have freedom. We have liberty. Do you hear what I'm saying? And you know, God uses all mediums. From You can make classical music that's beautiful, you know, that God has been put in. You can worship that, you know. Uh, rock music, pop music, that's Godly music, do you hear what I'm saying? Not worldly music. You know, go and do some search. I mean, I did yesterday and stuff. There's so much beautiful rave music that is Christian-based. Rock music, it's Christian-based. Metal music, it's Christian-based, you know. There's some nice, beautiful, you know, country music that's Christian-based. There's a lot of beautiful, various mediums of music, but it's centered around God. It's about God, you know. Beautiful stuff. Um... So this morning we're going to worship Him. We're going to celebrate Him. And I really challenge you this morning. I'm going to stand here in front. I'm not going to stand up here. Because there's a lot of new songs. I don't know the words. (laughs) So I need to read them myself. (laughs) Okay. So we're going to worship God. We're going to glorify God. And we're going to have fun in this place. It's going to be about 40 minutes of praise and worship. And if after that you want to lay hands on you, want to pray for you for anything specific. Maybe you need healing in your body. I don't even have to lay hands on you. You can get healed in your chair. How many... We have so many testimonies, people get healed in your chairs in this place. You know, uh, you can do the same. You can have the same. A break to God to have an encounter with you. You can lie here on the floor in front. You can stand here in front. You know, have you noticed all the people when they go to the rock concerts, they're all standing here in front, close to the stage? Catch me! <laughs> Are you going to catch me today? Oh, okay. Charles, can you money for me? Oh, no. You can take out, you can pick up gearboxes, but he won't pick up me. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Tell you. <laughs> if you felt it, you were in the flesh, you are yes, I was in the flesh. <laughs> you know, because usually when you fall over, you don't feel it, you know, it's the Spirit of God. If you do feel it, that was me. <laughs> I, uh, it happened to me as well when. Uh, I was praying for people, and uh, he was standing. It happened to me many times. And Charmaine also caught the one lady missing. She fell on the floor, the one that, Pwah! but she was fine. <laughs> you know? She was like going once, and doop, it goes out the on the floor. Doop, I'm, I'm getting sued. <laughs> but meanwhile, she was fine, okay? So, you know, it happened to me plenty of times. I remember the one day as well, there was another lady, the other premises. Yes, but this lady hit the floor. Man, it went through this whole building. But, <laughs> is there any blood there or whatever? And I'm like making like, uh, I'm cool. <clears throat> She's fine. <clears throat> Very much. Next one. Flesh. Please, please. Next one, please. I'm checking is she okay. He's like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> See, I've, I've got some stress in this place, you know, when you fall, eh? <laughs> 
but she was perfect. She got up and she was healed. She hit the floor. You know, she was healed. I remember I went to another church, prayed. The lady was standing here, and I just went like this, and the power, I just went like this. The power of God knocked her like three or four rows through the chairs. No, no, you don't understand. The chairs split like the Red Sea, but through it. Okay, I'm just going to go like this. I'm not touching that. Just, I'm going to give you a finger, not like a hand, you know, because <laughs> a hand is too much, apparently. <laughs> okay. I do the finger thing. <laughs> That's better. She was completely healed. She had, I think she had um, OB problems, cancer, things, or whatever. She got up and she says, no more pain. She was completely healed. Cool stuff, huh? Heavy stuff, yeah. Pretty cool. It's pretty awesome how God moves, you know? So I had fun with Holy Spirit. I had so much fun with him. You know, I remember I went to preach in Kirkstorp. It was real Afrikaans people. And this man is very funny. And he's got... It's got a sense of humor. So they don't understand the power of God. You know, you all is used to it, you know. So the man was standing there and said, Sir, I'm not going to touch you. I'm going to show what God does. And just close your eyes. And I go like, <laughs> goes like this side. I said, I said, is that side healed? The other is healed. But this side as well. I said, don't worry. Just stand there. And I go like, goes, <laughs> it looked like I'm tickling him from the side. But the Holy Spirit, and he goes like this. I said, yep, you healed. I'm healed completely. So I didn't even touch you. Okay? It's amazing stuff, man. See, God uses vessels. We are vessels. Amen. God wants the power of God to flow through us to give Him glory. You have what, the same power. I've just been doing it for so many years, it becomes normal to you. But it must be normal to you as well. Amen. But the same thing here today worship God. Get your healing, get your deliverance, get whatever you need here today from the Lord. But worship Him. Declaring it. See your breakthrough. See how awesome he is. Amen. And have fun this morning. Amen. Amen. Let me just pray and then we can stand and worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Again, afterwards I can pray for you as well if you want any specific prayer. Amen. Lord, I thank you for your presence here this morning. Lord, I thank you for your anointing that shatters and destroys yokes and removes burdens, Lord. Lord, I declare, Lord, your presence is here to heal, to restore, to bless, to excite, and to ignite. Lord, I pray that you help us here this morning to worship you with our hands, with our mouth, Lord Father. Lord, I pray that we'll break off every religious thing, Lord Father, every insecurity, Lord, that we feel, Lord, people looking at us. Lord Father, we feel self-conscious this morning. Lord, I pray you break it and give us freedom and hope, Father, this morning to enjoy your presence, Father, to enjoy your kindness upon us, Lord, your love upon us, Lord. Lord, help us to worship you truly in spirit and in truth this morning. Lord, that we'll see Jesus, we'll see in the throne. Lord, we see, we'll see angels here this morning. Father, knowing that you are with us, Lord. Lord, I declare, Lord, Lord signs, if you want to give us signs, Lord, it would be great. But Lord, I thank you that, Lord, no matter if they're signs or not, or goosebumps, Lord, you are here. We declare you are here. Holy Spirit, you are here. You are welcome. Uh, Jesus, you are welcome. Father, you are welcome. Saints of old, you are welcome. Lord, I declare, Father, angels is in this place and around this place. Lord, I thank you, Father, that we'll leave this place being changed and transformed in Jesus' name. Amen. Hi, my name is Pastor Johan Mankies from Zoe Ministries, South Africa, here in Rudderport. I just want to say thank you for, for watching this message. I really pray that God has touched you, He has encouraged you, He has uplifted you in Jesus' name. Also, I want to say to you, if you've never made Jesus your Lord, it is very simple. All that you say is, Lord Jesus, come into my heart and I believe and confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Very simple. Then you are saved. If you want more information about myself and about our ministry, please do not hesitate to visit our website and see what we're all about and what we have to offer. So I just want to say bless you again and thank you again for watching this awesome message. Amen. Bless you.